Booting up the game and just seeing these lifeless bodies in the ground is not... It's it's not something I want at all. Especially my boy Taka. And again, it's no offense to Fumi, but it's my boy Taka. It's my boy. Taka, you'll never move again. According to Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near the body of the, in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? That, we're going to assume that, I, I suppose. And there's a tarp laid out under his body. By the way, my name is Calvin, also known as Homer, and this is Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. This is my first start playthrough of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. But there, there's a tarp laid out under him. So, they, okay, they used it to move his body. That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Okay, so there's a tarp with a bit of blood on it. But what about Ifumi? There's no tarp under him. Ifumi's big, cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body, yeah? I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? I mean, like, it's, he's not like... It's not like he's gargantuan. Like, you could, you could, like, use leverage, possibly. From the nurse's office where he was discovered to the here and the... It is, like... The thing is, though, like, carrying any body is freaking massive. Like, it's... Like, like especially dead weight. Like, I couldn't carry talk all the way up here. Uh, you, but you could probably drag him. All the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing. How the hell? It's no good, I just don't get it. I can't- I can think about it later, for now I have to finish investigating Ifumi myself. If I remember correctly, Fumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Oh wait, something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Ifumi's body in the nervous o nurse's office versus body right now. What's different? His glasses! When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. But now they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped off his glasses? But who would do that and why? Yeah, that is pretty weird. That is pretty weird. So let's see what else we can check here. So first of all, I guess these hammers are going to be important too. There are hammers all different sizes hanging on the wall, although some are more like mallets. Mallets? Could the Justice Hammer have been disguised using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers have been obviously seen, uh, we have here have obviously been seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait, for some reason this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Spotless hammer has been added to the truth, bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. So someone washed a hammer, or someone cleaned a hammer. How are you doing, Nina? How are you, girl? So, um... Hey, Makoto, I've been thinking about something. It's about the repository. What is it? Hmm. After Fumi and Taka's body disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. But... And we came right to the repository, you know, to look around. But when we got there, here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked? Hmm. And we came here as soon as the search started, so there's no way someone could have beat us here. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? I wanted the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. Yeah, that's what I was talking about as well. There might be some secret lurking in there. I'll probably have to leave the area to figure it out. Well, I also want to talk to Ogami to see what Ogami thinks. Hmm. There are many aspects of the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. So then. Would you like my help? Yes, I suppose. Hmm. This morning when Ifora was met up at the dining hall, Hina, Kyoko, you and myself. We waited for the others, but nobody showed up, so we decided to go look for them. Mm. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search, and soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. Mm. After that, Hino found Celeste, Hino, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor, then quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her, meaning just after 7 o'clock. Mm. Based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It was Robo Justice. It also became clear that this Robo Justice had dragged Ifumi away. <laughs> After meeting up with Toko and um, um, uh, we began searching for the costume assailant. We found an injured Ifumi in the library on the second floor. We took him down to the nervous nurse's office on the first floor, then resumed our search, but not after not long after leaving the nurse's office. I saw a shadow of something move around the, on the top of the stairs. Based on Celeste's claims, we went back up to the second floor, where we split up and began searching. Then right after mm. that, Celeste screamed. This time she had apparently seen the suspect of the third floor. I was kind of just like forgetting to do the voice there for a bit. Hearing her screams, we quickly made our way to the third floor. 
Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Mm. And then... What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Hifumi, he's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. At that point, I split up into two groups. Celestine and I went back to... The okay, so I'm thinking that they're explaining all the stuff I'm going to remember anyway. I don't I don't know if I'll forget all this stuff. Meanwhile, you, uh, Big Jugu, and Togo pursued the suspect of the third floor, and then we got back to the nurse's office. But it makes me feel like there's going to be so many moving parts to this, to this trial. But I, 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 probably, I probably won't forget anyway, so... It's fine. It's fine. We found a Fumi's course, which also, when we heard the body discovery now it's in play... I left Celeste and Heen alone and headed back to the third floor to tell the others what happened. However... However... But at the same time, we discovered Taka's body in the equipment room, which means that Fumi and Taka's body were discovered right around the same time, because I remember hearing the body discovery announced in play after the finding Taka. And that's when I showed up and told you, uh, and Fumi had been killed, right? Then you, me, and all headed back to the nurse's office, leaving behind Toku, who had fainted. But as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who just arrived to tell us something very unusual. Okay, I won't be doing this again. Uh, Fumi's body had dis disappeared. We hurried back to the nurse's office and discovered that the corpse was, in fact, gone. Hmm. Then we remembered we had abandoned the unconscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. This can't be happening. Are we all hallucinating or something? This time, Taka's body disappeared. Could you could you give the Cliff Notes version? <laughs> could you give the Spark Notes just like bullet points? After mm. some time, Celeste told us she'd found the bodies and we all headed to the repository. And then we rediscovered the two bodies that apparently vanished. Oh my god. Come on! <laughs> that brings us to, up to now. Yes, if you want to look back at the case again, just like, no, it's fine. I won't be doing that ever again. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you to have that for me, but I, I, I won't be doing that again. No. Oh, look, there's the thing that he they move, used to move um, uh, the bodies. Bugu, do you think he or really did it? I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearance all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Fumi said when he died. Yeah, he said Hero's so name. In other words. There was no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, we'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see. I mean, he is kind of dumb. Don't say- like- Like, he hasn't even said anything dumb. Like, he hasn't even said anything dumb. This is the thing- this is his game. You're considered smart if you don't say anything smart, and you're considered dumb if you don't say anything dumb. Like, what has he said that's dumb? He thought the, 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 the whole game was fake. He thought this was all fake. That's a completely rational response from anybody. But do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding there somewhere. And is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. They probably figured out that we, uh, we, couldn't, uh, we couldn't find the bodies. We couldn't complete our investigation. But that's the case. We found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is, why did they bother killing two people? What? Because all the rule says is if you can kill someone, you get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But if killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. See. Hold on, perhaps. I thought this guy was supposed to be the smartest guy in the game, guys. What's happened? So that's what that means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. If I had my way, I would just leave you here to wait your final days. Honestly. And if I had my way, I would leave you here to wait your final days. Such a good song. Uh, what's with that attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Shh. I don't care. <laughs> Goodbye. I might have some fun with this after all. Okay. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he'd figured something out. But if he did, it would have uh, would have killed him to tell uh, to tell me what it was. You know what the funny thing is about Tagami is as well, though? 
We should be not be trusting him with anything because last time he betrayed us and he lied to us. It's really weird that we're just like so not assuming that he did the, didn't do this or put the, at least move the bodies because that's something he did last time. You know, he did that with Chihiro. To just assume that he wouldn't do it again is is super weird. You know what I mean? It's super strange. It's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to, to move uh, statue, statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Oh, but wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? And look at the wheel. And there's blood stains on That's the thing we saw. Remember, the, the, there's a, a blood stain mark. They put Taka's body on the thing and they dragged it over with this thing. Case solved. It was, of course, Ifumi who killed them. So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? You know what's sad? You know what's sad about this? They killed off a Fumi, which, you know, can be a funny guy. He's a bit pervy sometimes, uh, which, you know, I always call out. But it's clearly not going to be Tagami this time. You know? It's clearly not going to be Genocide Jill, which means it's going to be either Ogami... Hagakure, Hina, Kyoko, or Celeste. I'm losing two characters, a, a character I love more than anything, a character I have no problem with, really, and I'm also gonna lose another character I love dearly. Not love dearly, but like a lot in these characters, because, like, if I lose Hina, if I lose Hina and Kyoko, these two, these are my two favorite characters left. They're, just, they're, they're, they're two left. If they leave me... <laughs> with freaking Toko and Bagagunk... I will genuinely be very sad. Sorry guys if the microphone was uh, peeking there, that's my fault. Uh, I, I was coming too close to the mic, that's my, that's my bad. Okay, so is there anything else we need to look for in this room? Uh, can we get like a coin for this? Through that door and said uh, that Hina said was locked before. There's definitely a lock in the door, but it can only be locked from the inside. The repository. What? I don't see lock from the lock. It. Oh my god. The door can only be locked from the inside, which makes me wonder. Hina and Sakura confirmed the door was locked after we started looking for the missing body. Someone was in here with the bodies, and the door design was is designed so they can only be locked from the inside of the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims there was no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. So that's certain someone. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check it elsewhere. There's some places that I already know about. First, the nurse's office, where Fumi was found, okay? And the equipment room where Tak was found. Uh, no, here's the thing. Whoever killed Taka is going to be the first time I don't feel bad for an execution. As I said that, I kind of felt bad. As I said that, I kind of felt bad. But look, let's go to the nurse's office. I know we should go to the equipment room first, right? Because it's closer. Also, I'd still like to find Kyoko, if that's a possibility. Um, she's actually going to be very useful to our our case, as usual. Uh, I think actually not having her here kind of feels like it's not, you know, it's 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 kind of weirder, like not... I don't know. Like, it feels like she's, she's not here to give us support, which kind of feels a bit weird. By the way, yes, I have pre-ordered Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I think we're going to be playing it on the channel. I think that would be a good... Oh... Idea. I think that'd be really fun actually to play Xenoblade Chronicles on the channel. The only thing I will ask you guys is is that I'm not very good at Xenoblade games, even though I love them to pieces. Uh, so I would accept advice at all times. <laughs> it's one of those games where I'd just be like, you know, give me some advice on how to do this, guys. Because uh, even though I've played Xenoblade Chronicles one twice in my life, uh, once on the 3DS and one on the Switch, I've played uh, Xenoblade Chronicles two. You know, I love that game too, as well. Uh, I'm still not the best at them, you know, I'm still not good at strategizing how to do all these moves and stuff and all the, the actions. But yeah, I'll just say that now. Uh, and of course Amori as well is another game we're going to be playing next. Uh, just time for four, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. 
Here we go, the wheels. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool. The blood in the middle of the room. It reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms on the third are on the third floor, so that would definitely have been possible. You're right. It would have been possible. How did you know? But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Ifumi? If Umi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor, even without a dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. I mean, that's what you think. Here's one of the tarps. I think it might be just like a... Yeah, this tarp. It feels like I've seen it somewhere, and just recently, too. Let's see if there's anything else we can look at. Uh, let's talk to Genocide Jail. How you doing, Jail? I was sleeping here when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. Okay. I'm trying to make sure we have, like, uh, every single thing kind of covered before we leave, of course. It's not important to the case. When is anything important to the case? She's not important to the case, but we can talk to her. Watch her be, like, the most important thing in the case. Okay. Um, also, like, I guess we have to think of the, the money motivation as well, going forward. Um, but then again, like, the money motivation could really be anybody. Like, even the richest of people, you know, crave money. Rec room. You know what I mean? Like, it's like... And, like, the, peop the people who say, like, you know, money, money can't, money can't buy happiness. It's like... Mm, uh, I can get you pretty close. You know what I mean? I think people who say that like I probably have a lot of money. Uh, because like, you know, I, I know plenty of problems that have happened in, in my life and in other people's lives that could be solved completely with money and make people a lot happier. You know what I mean? How are you, Celeste? I'm gonna look at this hammer first if that's okay. Justice Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Ifumi. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. What else do we have to look at? There's a lot of things we can look at here, I suppose. What's over here? There's like a frigo. A refrigerator. I wonder if anything is to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek. What? There's a bunch of blood packets in here for blood transfusions, I guess. Wait. It doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. Huh? So that's just not even like... Okay, I guess like... I guess that's fine. The only thing I'm thinking about though is like, like, is that important? Should I be thinking? Maybe I shouldn't be even thinking about the blood packets. It's just no, it didn't. It wasn't added to the truth bullet, so yeah, it's not. It's not important. It's just a normal trash can. Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. What? What? So someone cleaned his glasses, and it's got some kind of cartoon Ooh. character on it. But it's also covered in blood. Oh, Dad, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged was to. Uh, whoever this belonged to must have been uh, used to wipe it up so, uh, some blood. But who would need to do something like that? <gasps> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either. But I think it might be important. Okay. Something is... Something is going on here that is way crazier than I, even I'm thinking. What are you investigating, Celeste? I'm now, I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around seeing if Hiro might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have uh, moved to Fumi's Let's body. See. How Fumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, yes, right? Indeed. Correct. Hino was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, and I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was mm. gone. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Fumi's body in that short Indeed. amount of time? It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as a Fumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of anything less than impossible. See, I think, again, it's, it's important to, like, talk about that. To be able to carry a, a body off in minutes... It's pretty important uh, to this trial that I not this trial yeah this trial I, I was thinking like oh I'm thinking Phoenix right but they, they are trials as well. 
Are we sure this is not not the blood transfusion is not anything? Hmm. So this is where you were. I've been looking because I have I have some picture in my head that's starting to form. You have? Hmm. I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. For someone who really doesn't want to be friends with me, you love talking to me. Um, you should go to Hero's room. Let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? Hmm. You remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it's left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things grow ever more exciting. What are you talking about? I've already paid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. How about you shut up, man, boy? Don't ever talk to me again. Uh, so he said go to his room, but what was waiting for me there? Let's look at our truth bullets. Blue tarp, repository, dolly. If Fumi's glasses were cleaned, spotless hammer. Repository door. Equipment room, blood stain. So this was cleaning his, his glasses. Okay. Very well. So I guess we have to go to Fumi's room. Fumi's room, sorry, Hero's room. Man. I can't think of anyone so far that would be like, like I think Hero is too obvious. I think uh, Hero is way too obvious. You know what I mean? I think it's like, I think it's like a way too obvious choice. Not that that's like a bad like thing. Like sometimes the obvious choice is the right one. Hero, hero, Mondo and Taka, best friends, possibly dating, who knows, up to them if they want that, Junko, I miss you too, hi Toko, Chihiro, we miss you, Leon, Yasuhiro, the door's unlocked, I guess I can go inside, Bugaduke? Did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. I mean, I think I think it's a good idea too because he's he's missing as well. Kyoko's also missing. Whoa, this is kind of neat. This hero's room is all kind of weird stuff in here. Where do you even get this all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up, which means he can't really complain if I don't if I if I don't get his permission to search his room. Right? Not how that works, but okay. Let's search these boxes first of all. I think there's something inside the cardboard box. Oh, it's blueprints for a robot? Something made out of what looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster. Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room. But wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Have the irons bend like this. What is up? Nice bed. It's a normal bed, pretty much like the one in my room. Are you sure? Check again. There might be a demon bed. And then we'll solve this case. Um. Wait, what was over here? Oh, it's the door. Okay. And I was like, why did they look at it here? And then we have the bathroom door as well. Is that it? I think the bathroom door is the only thing left. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy, though. How does the bathroom even get this dirty? Is that it? I think that might be it. Really cool room, though. Very tailored to their personality. Makoto, big news, big news. What's wrong? We found Kyoko. Awesome, awesome. What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Robo Justice showed up, too. Oh. It's Hero wearing the costume. Anyways. What? <laughs> We're just like, we're just going with that. We're just going with Hero wearing the costume. To think Hero and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head up to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. Yeah, they're not gonna, they're not gonna let us dilly dally. Rightly so. Man, I would be in this pool all day. I'm sorry. But I would be like. Kyoko and. I mean. Phew, man, I had the worst day. <laughs> What am I looking at? Hero? No, wait, wait, hold on. We need to talk to Hero right away. Um, huh? Hero? Oh, uh, yeah, hey, who else would I be? Huh? Um, that's a good question. Uh, why do I look like this? Did someone come along remodel me while I was sleeping? 
was it Illuminati? So he doesn't even realize. Right. I found Hero. He was jammed in the pool locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and he woke up. Don't be mean. I still can't believe you kicked. Don't be mean. You kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it, like I don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a yeah. trace. There's something I have to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't. Never mind. Never mind. More importantly, what? She says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know that people think she might be spying yeah. for the mastermind? First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, uh, don't even know uh, how that happened. Then I woke up and I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. I mean, he, the costume's more handsome than you. Oh! Well, honestly, though, like, um, that's not true. I said that out of hurt and pain. So I apologize, Bakugunk. You get to be mean to me one time, and I won't say anything. That's the deal. Huh? Well, um, I know what's with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make this stick. Didn't make this stupid freaking thing. Seem... There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. Yep. It took everyone's help, but we slowly were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we all got the pieces off. <laughs> Free at last. Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then. More to the point, nobody but Hero will be able to wear that costume. Uh, um. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Okay? In other words, it's obvious to everyone that you would made the costume. I mean, it's not obvious to me. I don't. I don't. I don't buy it. <laughs> That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. I don't agree. Yeah, me too. I don't agree. I don't agree. Could it be? Then it's obvious the one who put on the costume went around attacking That's everyone. Terrible. I don't. I don't think that. We only have proof of him attacking one person, and we don't even know what the context was. <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the worst. Good idea. We won't want uh, him killing anyone else. <laughs> tie me up. Hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair hmm. treatment. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, attacking blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking what the about. Heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You don't know anyone who can wear this costume. So who else will possibly be the costume attacker? How do I know? I'm the one. I'm the, uh, you know, I'm the only one. Maybe you should try it off for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine. If you're going to be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit, he, uh, Hina uh, st started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Huh. See? That's a really cool image. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Is this what the people meant about proportions? Because now, yeah, the Robo costume is different, but with proportions to her head. And not to mention. You totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. <laughs> I believe that, though. I believe it. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. In a huff, Hina took the suit back off again. <sighs> but now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um... No, see, it's because you're a girl. It was, uh, if it was another guy, then... <laughs> Makoto, go on ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The irons were, uh, too long. There's no way I can Just wear this. Second. See, I told you it was impossible. <laughs> you're absolutely right. It seems that the costume was made to fit Hiro's body exactly. But... Then there's another costume. They must have one that looks the same, but fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there's another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. <laughs> what the... What the heck? Just the worst. Who's, who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible. Which is how we know it was him. What? I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Could someone, like, tell me? 
Robo just his costume. This is a crazy case. Kyoko, what's happening? She looks like she's lost in thought. I don't think she's in the mood to talk. Better leave her alone. You know what's up, girl? What the heck? There's no talking way out of this one. You did it. Everyone knows it. So that's what's happening. Oh. I certainly don't expect Hiro and Kyoko to turn up at the same mm. time. But where has Kyoko been hiding all this time? I have then no idea. Perhaps. perhaps she really is working for the mastermind. What else would explain her questionable behavior? But <laughs> you are quite protective of her, yes. That's because she helped me out so much up until now. <laughs> if I were the mastermind, that is exactly what I want you to do, uh, to earn your trust. True. Hmm. Hmm. It's looking more and more like it really was a setup. Do I, like, check the locker? There's a big locker near the pool. Do I leave? Oh, I, f I forgot to talk with the one guy who actually <laughs> had to talk to. If you don't tell me what's going on, I'm supposed to understand. I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Ifumi. <laughs> two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it. Please. I did not. Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed. That? That's it. I know who did it. So then. You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Talking to me, we're fighting over Alter Ego, right? Which means Alter right. Ego and Orchiro must have done it. Correct. I see that. Oh, correct. Correct. It's over. Please. Unfortunate. What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Um. I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so. I, I know that note. Note. Uh, um. Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door, and here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. What? Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone. For now, let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. But the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, and for some reason I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Oh, my lord. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could huh? do that. Huh, really? <sighs> I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote that all to trick me. <sighs> Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front uh, in front of you. In in desperate times, I would probably be similar. <sighs> well, after being trapped here for so long, if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? I agree. Yeah. Uh, they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. <sighs> I still don't buy don't it. Don't be mean. Well, you should buy it. <laughs> Just a second. Okay, then show us that note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my um pocket. <laughs> no way. Looks like I lost it. Hero, I believe you though. I 100% believe him. I 100% believe him. Watch me be completely wrong again. <sighs> yeah, sure. Please. Please, you gotta believe me. I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh, what the heck, for serious? So we have a, an account from Yashiro. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. Why did you kill him? Tell us, Hiro. No, it's like I said, again, I think like we're jumping way too far into this, like into conclusions. And I think it's okay to do that. But I think also at the same time, I'm having so much doubt about this. Just the worst. Was it ready to get the money Munakuma offered? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broken. That's why. Please. Wait a second. That's a false accusation. Someone help me. No. Can we go into uh, Taka and Ifumi's room as well? Like, are we allowed to do that? Or are they going to be locked? Just be thankful we haven't found that uh, we haven't bound and gagged you. Hmm. If you have time to tell us to, 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 to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? What? Oh, you're right. I need to look for the second suit in that note. Feet don't fail me now. I guess I better get back to guard duty. I was going to ask Toko or Genocide Jack to switch with me. Hmm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled Makoto. away. Makoto, do you have a second? Oh, here we go. I want you to help me with the investigation. It, it looks like I got a, la a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. This is like the opposite of Tagami asking me. Yes! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later when we have time, will you let will you tell me why you disappeared? No. To reject me so anyway. simply. Reject me. Reject me all you want. 
Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now, then, shall we go? Yes. Hey. Guys, okay. I'm gonna end the video here, and we're gonna come back in the next one and uh, investigate more with Kyoko. This is gonna be so good. Um, I think what I'll say though as well about this, uh, this, 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 this investigation so far is that I do have my doubts, and if you want to know what I'm thinking, I'm thinking that someone is definitely framed hero. Someone has 100% framed hero, and if we're thinking about money, what we're gonna have to think about is why a person would need money why a person would need that amount of money. And it doesn't have to be just to, to pay for college or to do something, I guess it could be something so silly. Um, it's a shame that Ifumi is like gone because like, I think that like, I would have suspected him right away because of the way that this is kind of very anime centric, kind of Gundam centric, kind of like, you know, Tales of Galactic Heroes or, uh, you know, uh, Code Geass type stuff or you know something like that it feels like very like um like that you know what i mean if that makes sense um also like i remember him being like you know talking about his digital camera and how like i think he said it costs qu quite a bit right didn't he say qu maybe that's something i'm thinking of diff different isn't it? he said the digital camera cost a lot of money to get so i'm thinking maybe he would use it to buy like dolls um, other than that, like, I think that, like, you know, would Tagami need the money? No, Tagami wouldn't need the money. Um, Hina? I don't know, we don't know enough about Hina's background. Yeah, it's a shame, because, like, no, it's not a shame, I wouldn't want to put Ifumi away, but that would be my first, like, suspect in this, like, uh, because of the way that it's very anime-centric. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna come back in the next one, we're gonna see what we can do. Thank you guys so much for watching, uh, thank you for all the support, uh, it's been really special, and I'll see you guys very soon.